Disclaimer, classes in Trove are built very much the same, so if you have watched any of my other build guides, then there is quite a lot of things that will repeat itself, but you can bypass those parts by the timestamps in the description. Also, my guides are always updated, so if I was to stop doing YouTube, all my those guides would go away. No misinformation will be out there, and I will always update my videos slash guides. If something major happens to the game content, if something minor changes, it will be in the description. Hello guys! who here back on the video this time around we are doing a build guide for pirate captain yeah so the intro is going to be very much the same as if you've seen it before you can skip ahead to maybe the demo or something else but yes the intro is going to be different just with the which class we are going to do basically just telling you if this is your first time watching one of these build guides what you can expect from the video so as you can see right here i did make it into chapters also indicated by uh, timestamps which is in the description or on the video and first we are going to start with a five minute demo just showcasing the class what abilities do it have kind of just showing off not going into detail what they basically do but just showing them off and maybe that will interest you at making one of these classes one of your mains after that we are going to do a quick look at overall stats for the every single class so for this class that you're watching right here we're going to do it for that one and also in general we are going to talk about stats for example like crit hit and crit damage that's going to be some generalization right there and then we are going to move into gear and everything there's on the gear page that is of course banners allies head face weapon <laughs> and also rings and food emblems flasks so on so on. everything there is in the gear uh, page we are going to go over that one as well then we are going to cover gems mostly we're going to cover the empowered gems of course we're also going to talk a little bit about the smaller ones but mostly we are going to go into the big empowered ones or the big gems that is and then for lastly of course as you can see right here on the screen we're also going to talk about the star chart or the talent tree as i basically call it so that's what the intro was all about, just letting you know what the chapters are and how it is going to work with the timestamp. So you can skip ahead if there's something you already watched, you can skip ahead to doing that, or you can basically uh, watch it all if you feel like you want to do that. But that was the intro, now we can jump into the demo.
All right, guys, let's go more into depth on the pirate captain. So let's start out with the gear you got. Of course, this is a gun class. It's one of the gun classes is also a magic damage user. All the magic damage users or uh, all, all the gun, all the gun users or magic damage as well. So uh, for the pirate captain, I did not know if you saw this in the demo, uh, but basically you throw down a turret and then you throw down another turret if you have the clash gem, and then you can also throw in number one. That's a kind of a de uh, what is it called taunting thing, distracting uh, uh, thing. But the thing is with these uh, turrets, this is what does the most of the damage, and the pirate captain do not work like other classes do. They do not work with energy regen for example so the way you get that is of course using your gun hitting enemies and then you get the balloons or coins if you can they're called the balloons but i'll call them coins because it's just easier to say coins than the balloons i guess uh, but uh, that's technically the right term and then of course you fill up your bar down here uh, like you do but it doesn't as you can see it doesn't do anything right now because i do have energy regen if i put up my stats right here you can see i do have energy regen uh, you can see there's a base of 103 but it has zero because it doesn't work to here so no matter how much energy regen you get you will never uh, have it go up at any point because it's always going to be zero for some classes also the same thing with attack speed you know that doesn't work so that's also just zero no matter how much you increase it it will also be always be zero so it's this basically disabled on the a class so you don't actually can just sit around and just put down turrets and uh, do so i do want to say before we go into it too much i do think that as you can see you throw down one turret at a time uh, also when you didn't throw another one it disappears the one the first one you use that's because of the uh, class gym we'll get into that one but I hope in the future uh, when they might go come around reworking the uh, uh, you know the pirate captain I hope that they would when you have the class gym I hope that they will make it so both turrets goes down at the same time it just makes a lot more smoother I feel like because basically if you saw the demo as well it was like put down a turret put down a turret uh, or you sometimes you put down a turret and then put down the destruction thing and then you also put down a turret another one and then you also have to put down your ultimate uh, for that but usually this is enough of course when you are playing but the point is that uh, it's a lot of clicks to or a lot of presses if you play on consoles to get uh, these all up and running and then they're only doing 200 percent uh, magic damage uh, counter uh, uh, versus I guess you can say uh, contra uh, the thousand damage a uh, thousand damage percent it does when it's fully stacked up so basically when it stacks up it of course when you do the doubloons you can see that indicated by the front here if you look at it doesn't have any shield in front of it little little guy there but when he's completely uh, ma maxed out he has like a shield in front of him it basically uh, has three stages where it goes from one to two to three and then yeah that's how it basically works so I hope in the future that you can Pull, deploy both of them at the same time so you have them both down so you could just start shooting and get uh, your doubloons and get them to uh, get to the max uh, level basically every time of that so i hope that that would be something they will do and then maybe also um if you are not too far away um usually dungeons are not super close to each other so you can't do it always sometimes they're pretty close to each other so you can do so but if you're doing boss fights sometimes you have to reposition because you know the boss runs all the way down here and then you know turrets can't hit them and then you have to you put them down again and then get your doubloons again so i kind of wish that you could basically uh, also with the class gym reposition and if you were in a certain range that you can just deploy them again or like put them uh, you know move them basically and they will be at the same stage you can still do the same damage as you did before and then you basically just move a little bit and then you could deploy them again and then they basically move and it's on the same stage as they was before so basically you can move them along like if you wanted to do so but usually dungeons are so far from each other and do so little damage that it doesn't really matter too much so yeah usually this but I'm, I'm talking like bosses and deep delves and stuff like that that would definitely i feel like would help the uh, pirate captain so Let's get into the, uh, you know, the different things that happen. I just want to do that side note. I know it takes a little bit longer, but I, I, I wanted to say this because I feel like it's quite important. So for your gear, uh, you want to find attack speed is not bad on the class. Uh, it 
does, uh, you know, I don't actually know, that I, have, I haven't found any information about this, if the attack, pe uh, attack speed actually works for your turrets. So I think that, I don't know if the turrets shoot at the same rate, no matter how much attack speed you have. Uh, I haven't tested it out. Uh, so, but the thing is that if you do shoot, uh, attack speed do work for the, you know, the pirate captain, and you should get some, it's not that you shouldn't get it. Uh, it's the thing is that you, sh you shoot faster. So if you shoot faster, your turrets then also get to max rank faster because you're getting your doubloons faster every time you are uh, shooting right so this is the point of getting some attack speed on the class uh i don't I don't want to go out of my way if it was to uh, not have it uh, if it doesn't work on the turrets um, but again it might work at, in the future and stuff like that we it's just not a lot of people people go for attack speed and that's it so just wanted to mention that for the attack speed and i just want to be 100 percent transparent about uh, i don't want to put you guys in a position where it's like, yeah get a lot of attack speed and your church will uh, shoot faster all we know is that at least how what i know what i've figured out over the years that i've been playing is that it's only going to work for the pirate captain itself and then it's not going to work for the turret so maybe they are set at a different you know uh, at a different uh, or a set uh, attack speed so even if you'd have zero attack speed they're still going to shoot at the same rate uh, i haven't seen them shoot faster i haven't noticed it at least when i have played the class and i haven't played the class a lot it's not on a main or anything like that so there might be some pirate captain mains out there if there is if it works on the turret uh, please put them in the comments that would be amazing uh, if you know that for certainty uh, of course with some proof <laughs> that it actually is working with the attack speed but other than that get the attack speed anyways because you want to shoot as fast as you can to get those doubloons back um, also again now that we you know don't have the idea that i just came up with with the uh, you know moving of the turrets then you want to have them get us uh, to max as fast as possible so i went again with attack speed and magic find uh, again you can go with movement speed if you want to go a little bit more speedy but there's other classes that just does it much better so i would not put the pirate captain as a speed class at all so sure you can again go for uh, movement speed if you feel like you want to do so but I would rather have the attack speed. I feel like the pirate captain is more of a, a boss killer. Basically, Trove is divided into boss killers and, and you know, speed farmers. And boss killers, uh, I feel like the pirate captain falls in. There's also better boss killers than the pirate captain, for sure. Uh, but I'm just, you know, saying it more is that, for me at least, than it is a speed farmer because other classes does it much better. So again, you can see I went for the attack speed crit damage and also some magic find. You can also go for max health if you want to on some of this, if you want to be a little bit more beefy. Uh, uh, the, the uh, magic find is not a must it's just that something i went for for this and it, of course you do want the i did went with the movement speed on the on this one so if you do get movement speed it's not a bad thing at all the, again if you have a lot of dragons with attack speed and so on doesn't matter uh, too much with the attack speed of course you want to get as much as you, if you can but you at a certain point you just have so much and yeah it doesn't matter too much but of course you want the magic damage magic damage is very important that is a must and the crit damage is also much better than the uh, attack speed unless if you have like zero attack speed then any attack speed is, is basically good so this is the stats that i had on there i went with magic find here it's just a random one you can actually also go with some jumps maybe if you want to do so if you're missing some few jumps but but there's not really much for the uh, third stat of this one, which is amazing for the uh, pirate captain. Uh, it's more of a utility. It could be like, hey, jumps is good, but it, it kind of works out to be mostly just a utility with the magic find. Again, you can go uh, whatever. If there was movement speed in here, in the in the rotation, if you can say like that, I would go with the movement speed here as well. But there's many options. Whatever you basically want here is really up to you. And also, uh, there are some hidden effects, but they don't really matter for the pirate captain at all. Uh, they do a little bit, but it's not something significant that is a big game changer for it. But uh, maybe also that would be something in the future. They could maybe add one of these hidden effects to one of the rings since with the double deploy instead of, but I don't know. Of course, for the banner you want to go for, your 10 banner uh, with some, uh, doesn't really matter what stats it has, except for the magic damage, of course. That's the only thing you really want and the light that's on it as well. The other stats doesn't really matter. The, whatever fits your play style, if you want extra flash charges or whatever you really want. Of course, flash charges is also very strong to go with as well. Then I went with the origin. Uh, that's how it's, I think it's called. Uh, you can also go with the one from the star chart, the one that has, uh, you know, cooldown reduction if you want to get your ultimate it up as much as possible but that would only be for the uh you know for the 
uh, what's it called, the ultimate, because the other ones are basically always up. Basically, there's no cooldown on that. So I wouldn't really go for much cooldown reduction uh, also for your flask and stuff. So you can if you really want to have that uptime on your ultimate all the time. But basically for the pirate captain, it's all mostly all about the first mates, the, the turrets here to, to do those damage because, again, you can go down with, but it, it, when you do the uh, cooldown reduction, it's only going to affect the ultimate. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go for it at all, uh, in in my opinion, at, at least. But uh, if you feel like you want to go that cooldown reduction, it can also be for sure an option for the flask. I of course went with the arcane one, of course, because the arcane one is just uh, superior. You can also go with the uh, go here. You can see. Um, you can see if you can see for my face, you can go for the sewer strike. Of course, you can't really see it for my face, but you can see the stats up there. And the, the stats is, of course, 20% crit hit if you're not capped on the critical hit. I didn't talk about stat, we'll do that actually in the end here, uh, but uh, we'll talk about sure strike 20% if you're not capped on a magic, oh, sorry, a critical hit. So you can get that one as well. But then you do have to use your flask to go for that. And I did, I did go for the death, uh, death defying vial if you want to do so. Or you can also go for some of the other ones. One of the magic, magic find, for example. Every time you, uh, your, your magic find triggers, there's a chance that it will recover a charge. But again, you don't have the uh, out to not ever die thing unless you run out of uh, vials kind of thing right so you do have to be aware of that but you basically every time you have your magic find you can actually trigger this and if you have about oh, 8000 magic find then you can actually trigger this quite often like is so we actually kind of can keep them up all the time but yeah 8000 is not something it's about what we have right now without patron but many people don't have that mount it's it's like uh, basically the max of what is it i, I think we're like on 7 uh, 7. Point, 5,000 or something like that, about that. So 7,500 about that uh, right now, or a little bit more. It depends again, <laughs> they always add more and people always rank up, you know, and so on and so on. But the point is you can use that one as well. I wouldn't recommend really the other ones as well. Um, there is one where you where you do a critical hit, but again, um, that's again, mostly for bosses and not really for farming. I would just go for the Death Defying Vial. That's the one that we always kind of uh, go for as well. So that's basically all our, uh, you know, wep the weapons and, you know, gear and all that. So let's talk about uh, gems. So for the Cosmic one, let's start with that one. Uh, we want to have the ba Berserker Battler because we can also use the Vampiric if you want to. But again, we are not hitting that much. And I'm pretty sure, again, I don't want to say something that's not true. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the turret is not going to heal you if you have the Vampiric on. I think it has to be you that is using it. But again, the, the Berserker Battler is just so much better. And again, it's also a bossing class. So again, I would go for this one because it gives you light and also gives that increased attack speed compared to the other one just giving you some healing. And again, bosses uh, can be quite, uh, you know, hard. And uh, yeah, I would just rather have the damage output there instead of the uh, healing because uh, again, you do have to hit and it has a really short range. So you have to be right there with the boss if you want to heal that. And you're probably not going to heal that much because again, it's your turrets that is doing the damage. So let's talk about, of course, the class gem as well. The first, the, now you can two first turrets double your firepower Power. It doesn't double your firepower. When it says double your firepower, it doesn't mean that uh, when you have this one down, it and if you don't have the class damage, it basically does half the damage. Uh, it does not. Uh, it, of course, when they mean double damage, it means, of course, that you have two turrets that basically this one is doing a thousand percent damage and this one is doing a thousand percent damage. So basically, if you don't have the class gem, you're basically doing half the damage. So the Pirate Captain class gem is absolutely necessary. And I hope again that you uh, they would change uh, that so you can deploy two at a time and the moving thing is i don't know if that can be done but at least i know they can be changed to putting down two at a time instead of just having one and then of course yes you have to, when you didn't have both of them down and you uh, basically uh, you know move and go to the boss you will then deploy two of them again and yes that would remove both of them but the point is again it, this would just help it a little bit i feel like being a better farmer than having to throw down two of these and when you are bossing anyway you just want if you're going to put down two turrets if you're going to move you want those two turrets down as fast as possible again so you can get those doubloons into them and actually they will grow up to be big uh, scary guys and then uh, for the uh, you know 
for the other gems uh, you want to go for i did go for the cube and i went for the pirate so these are not two the ones you want you want the explosive and then you want uh, maybe this you could be it could basically be anything you want again pyro disc is more for a speed build so uh but you want the explosive one that's called explosive uh i can just go really quickly here because i have it here uh it's called yeah, that's the explosive one this of course is crystal but uh you want to go for the explosive one and then you can go for whatever you want there is a little uh trick to it that you actually do get the blooms when you know your pyro disc this does proc and it does damage to enemies it actually gives you doubloons but uh, it's not like an auto build or anything like that where if, i guess you can pick a sort of gem that procs on itself and does damage and then you can stand still and that would but it's going to do so little damage you're going to run out of potions stuff and whatever before that even happens so but it does work with the pyrodist at least that's what i've seen uh i might have been wrong on that but uh it, i wouldn't go for the pyrodisc on the pirate captain it, it, there is a little argument for going pyrodisc because of of course the movement speed but also because you are short ranged so you are actually in range for example a pyrodisc on a shadow hunter is not the best it, it it's mostly the only for the then the uh, movement speed right but here it actually can also do damage because you are probably going to be in range of things because you are going to be pretty close because you have so short range so not only for the attacks uh, no sorry for the movement speed but also for like i said the damage output it does a power disc is not the super amazing damage but uh, people usually only pick it for a movement speed but there's a little argument for for picking it because of you know the the, the damage it actually can do but again it doesn't proc before you kill something so yeah and basically uh, when you have enough power rank and you go into u10 u11 whatever uh, you're just going to one shot things anyways and then the pirates is not really going to do anything but aside for the movement speed so lastly let's talk really quickly about stats as i said it is a magic damage user so of course you want to go for that magic damage as well you can again go for the movement speed but you want to hit that and not 162 percent crit hit you want to get as close as you can to that 100 percent and um, i don't actually have any crit hit on my gear uh, if you're missing something actually for the ring you can also get crit hit there but it's quite easy to get that crit hit uh, it's mostly because of my gems everything uh, everything has crit hit and maybe some of them are actually like very close to being perfect static that's why i have so much and i also have some for the tree i have a bunch of stuff for the star chart as well so that's why i also have this so it doesn't matter when you are a magic damage user or you are a physical damage user you know that crit hit is going to be the same so that's why i have probably so much uh, if you actually saw on my dragon light i'll just show you real quick is that i actually went away you can see here magic uh, sorry uh, ma critical damage and max health and actually also magic damage so i went away from a lot of uh, crit hit on my Dragolite because that's actually statted as it should be uh, the only class 5 you have that does that but yeah uh, that's why I have uh, so much of it you want as much as you can critical damage and magic damage that's the only one you, things you really want to look for uh, attack speed again you can again put in some attack speed but when you basically get a few dragons and some of them has attack speed you are going to bump that attack speed up pretty quickly and also there's some attack speed from the star chart tree as well so just going through some of it and uh, yeah you want to get that attack speed so it just feels better uh, you want to get as much attack speed as you can as well uh, but i don't want to uh, you know uh, nerf out on uh, a magic damage or the of course the critical damage of course you want to get as much light as you can as well that's always a thing like light uh critical damage and magic damage that's that's never ending basically <laughs> just get as much as you can of that uh attack speed uh, get as much as you can but don't you know take it over if you can get light or magic damage or critical damage instead do that compared to having something like um attack speed so basically that's the ranking i guess you can call it magic damage critical damage and light light of course being even like even higher uh on the on the priority and then of course critical hit is Basically, critical hit is the most important thing until you hit that 100%. And then basically all the other stats becomes way better. And then critical hit becomes the worst stat, <laughs> basically, when you have around that, when you have that 100%. And then the sure strike, as I talked about, that emblem can actually help you out if you don't have that 100%. So above 80% critical hit, it just gets worse and worse. The, uh, you know, the... The, uh, the emblem becomes worse and worse until you hit that 100%. And then, of course, you want to get something else. So that was everything there was to the uh, Pirate Captain in depth. 
Uh, we're not done yet. We are going to talk about the star chart, which is coming up right here. All right, first up, we got the magic damage tree. I sort of gave them all names, and this is the magic damage path, as I call it. And out here is where there's red circles. This is where there is going to be some new white want to get really old you know those that you really want to go for the green ones are okay but kind of there's not really anything between them there is a little bit down here but there's really nothing between them. these two over here are red because uh, there's two great good notes over here and could be a path that you want to go after you go through the basically the magic damage part and then also the critical damage part as well and you really want to go down here because there's also like a 15 damage right down here in the bottom if you can see it right down there there's a 15 percent magic damage winch is pretty crazy as well because you do have to go out either this way or this way after uh, over here is the uh, magic find and the kind of the uh, magic find an xp path and uh, that's okay as well uh, you do need those you know xp for if you're leveling up or doing paragon and stuff like that but the red ones are sort of mandatory for a uh, magic damage you can go whatever you want if you want to do so but uh, these are definitely the note that increases and has some impact as a magic damage user so as you can see you can you can also pause the video if you want to and just kind of check all the things out if you want to do so which ones are you going to go for and which ones are pretty nice to have but it's not really a lot of good notes leading up to it so if you had let's say you had you could get all the notes or at least everything all the green ones and all the red ones then you should definitely also go for the green ones as well the green one up here has some magic not sorry magic attack speed that's why it's up here usually not many uh, you know uh, magic damage users like for example drag light don't use uh, you know attack speed but like a gunslinger or is ice age for example those use it so that's why it's up here but there might be some a little bit better notes down here and if you I'd rather have 15% magic damage than like a little bit of attack speed because it's not really a lot of attack speed you get out of this note here. And there's some good ones in between as well if you want to get those as well. Um, but basically you want to go through all of the magic. So yeah, this is the damage, uh, magic damage part if you can say it like that. But this is what I think at least you should be aware of these notes. That's it for the video. Click the video on screen that's coming up right now. YouTube thinks you might like it. Also check out the description for all my ultimate guides that goes into more specific things in Trove. And also hit that like button would help me out very, very much. Also consider subscribing and that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.